attention all animal liberation activists, vegans, and concerned citizens. This is a call to action in defense of our fallen hero, Regan Russell. Your attendance is required in Niagara-on-the-Lake, Ontario at 12.30 p.m. on Sunday, August 23rd, 2020 to make a strong statement that we will not stay silent and static when our dearly departed friend and hero, Regan Russell's death, is mocked and disrespected. This call to action is a direct response to public statements made by members of the Horse Carriage Cartel in Niagara-on-the-Lake, online and in person. On July 30th, 2020, the owners of Sentinel Carriages, Laura Sentinel and Sean Sentinel, along with their goon squad, Locals for Carriages, leaders Jennifer Jones Butsky and Karen Taylor Jones, attended Fearman Slaughterhouses, where they displayed signs suggesting that Regan Russell committed suicide. This mocking of her death in the place that she died in front of her husband and son is depraved and despicable behavior and must not go unchallenged. We call on every activist within reach to assemble in numbers for a peaceful rally and protest on the horse carriages in Niagara-on-the-Lake to make a clear statement that their behavior and words are unacceptable and will not go unanswered. Regan Russell deserves to have her name respected. Regan Russell deserves justice. We are all Regan Russell. We are her legacy. We must carry on her legacy to achieve justice for her and for non-human people. We are Legion. Expect us.
Um, I, I'm supportive of the horse and carriage. Um, I'm, uh, I'm very supportive. First of all, I'm supportive of the horse and carriage. Uh, a little upset that I uh, got dragged into an argument and went and apologized to the horse and carriage people afterward. I like um, uh, Councilor Burroughs was there on Queen Street at the time when the uh, protesters were going by. And um, although I know they have the right to do this, this is no longer peaceful protest. And I'd also like to add, um, can we get advice from our lawyers? Because I think we need to understand how we can handle this. I'd be very open to, um, you know, going to a session to understand how to fuse and to de-escalate. But I think we have to find a way of really stopping them or giving them some spot they can go where they're not going to uh, influence, um, you know, people coming to visit or locals because this is no longer acceptable.